Good afternoon, everybody. I believe we are live. Um, welcome to Noonday Prayers, where we have the opportunity to um, just kind of, as you know, just stop for a moment and, um, you know, just rest in um, the day that is before us already uh, almost halfway gone and just kind of do some reflection on um, I'm trying to get the Book of Common Prayer online because I forget that I don't have my prayer book here it's at at the at the office so forgive me for just a second How are you guys doing out there today? What are you thinking about the change of weather? It's kind of awesome, isn't it? Um, one of my favorite times of the year, for sure. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's just take a breath, and as we begin our prayer, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm today is a portion of Psalm 119, starting at verse 97. Oh, how I love your law. All the day long it is in my mind. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, and it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my study. I am wiser than the elders because I observe your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I do not shrink from your judgments because you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments, I gain understanding. Therefore, I hate every lying way. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 through 13. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it'll be all yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you. And on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. 
When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. Here ends the reading. So, the temptation story of Jesus, according to Luke. Let's think about that for a minute. When you think of that word temptation, what, what comes to your mind? And where I am thinking today is that with that psalm, when our hearts are set on God, that when temptations arise, we have a uh, support network, kind of a bridge that holds us um, where God's law is written on our hearts and that we're able to respond. We can reach for that if we will just try. Jesus, you know, one of the reasons I love this story so much is because we don't often think of Jesus as, even though we know he was fully human, of being, um, you know, experiencing the, the types of things that we experience uh, and our responses to them. Temptation comes from within our hearts, so it's not something external. The external may, may show itself to us and offer us an opportunity to consider what we're going to do with it. But that process happens inside of us. And so thinking about the temptations that you know in your heart are a part of your life. You know, so that you may never voice to anybody. But you know they're there. You know, what do you do with that? And you might say, well, I'm not Jesus. Well, there is truth to that. But you are God's beloved. And we have choices. And all of our choices matter. We make thousands of choices probably in one day. And whether how we're thinking, how we're responding, what we choose to, uh, you know, do and say and be, uh, all of those things, it all matters. We're making those choices. And then how do our choices impact us, people around us, and the world at large? Because they do. They really do. Uh, just because we can't see that effect doesn't mean it's not real. One person has that kind of power in the choices that they make. So how do you choose wisely and thoughtfully through the day? And I'm, I really want to invite you to think about your daily prayer practices and what they look like and how you're spending time getting grounded and centered in who you are as God's beloved child this day and it doesn't mean that we're going to get it perfect every time but it does mean that we might think twice about our choices and our decisions and maybe ask ourselves which choice do I make here that's more life-giving that's the life-giving way to respond Jesus knew that if he responded to what was being offered, that um, it was only life uh, giving in the moment for himself, like a quick fix or instant gratification. But it didn't, it wouldn't change the world. It wouldn't change um, truth, right? It was just things that suck us in, that that had tried to put a spell on us so that we think we can't live without it. Or if I don't think this way, they won't like me. You know, all those little, little traps that we get hung up in and the temptations to lose a piece of who we are, a piece of our true self and who God's created us to be. So my prayers are with you this day. Uh, and I ask for your prayers as we all walk through the day 
mindful in thinking of the temptations that cross our paths. And can we, like the psalm, sing about how much we love God's law, how much we love uh, being wrapped in our Lord. Amen. All right. Let us continue to pray. O oh God, you declare your almighty power, chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. At this time, I invite your... Uh, Actually, let's continue to pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, so we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, and my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. And at this time, let us... Um, Bring to our hearts and minds those in need of prayer this day. Those who are hurting or suffering. Those who are suffering physically, mentally, emotionally. All those impacted by this virus. Today, I'm mindful of those who are just angry, angry at the intrusion the virus has had on their lives. May they be mindful of the temptation to lash out. Grateful this day for the community of St. Luke's and mindful of prayer for us as a community as we go forward in this place called Ada. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God, from generation to generation, and in the church, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for a few minutes. Um, I hope you're having a blessed day, and whatever you do out there, have fun. I'll see you next time.